we did have some deaths from uh, the in this infection, and quite a few kids were, were uh, rather ill. So this might be avoided in the future. We wanted to know something about the uh, three-dimensional organization of the of this uh, virus, and then try to uh, get an idea of whether we can develop some kind of antivirus against, you know, EVD68. This uh, pocket factor is important for the function of the virus. And what these compounds do is to displace the pocket factor with something which stabilizes the virus even more than the pocket factor to the extent that it, these compounds cannot be uh, moved out of the pocket when it binds to the host. And therefore, the virus remains stable and can't shed its genome into the host. So we finally found polyconeryl, which is very effective against the original strain of EVD68. So this is probably one of the major importance. It's like fitting a key into a keyhole. All keys are the same, but they're different in detail. Polyconeryl wasn't really proved because of the side effects. So in order to develop an effective antiviral and safe antiviral for EVD68, I think it's going to take quite a long time, you know, to go through the clinical trials and related things.